coming back at you here with another edition. Um, I'm super excited to be uploading another video. I've been waiting a long time. So first what I'm going to do is just give you where we're at right now so people who are just kind of jumping into this have a little background. Basically we met this group um, who said that there is another group in Savannah that is basically the elite of the elite. Basically no sick people only strong people, no children, no elderly people. Um, but they have a lot of resources and supplies since we found a boat in a garage that was actually attached to the house that we were kind of camping out in. So right now where we're at, we just got inside of the walls from entering through the sewers and we realized that there's walkers on the inside of the of the walls when there isn't supposed to be any. So a whole group, a horde came through somehow and we decided to run and lock ourselves into one of the buildings and that is where we're going to be continuing from today. Our main goal is to try finding some gas and a car battery so that way we can get the boat up and running and get the heck out of Dodge. Well. Savannah, but still. <laughs> also, while we have a little break here, I just want to say please remember to punch that bell to be notified to more videos that I will be uploading in the future. Um, maybe even one later today, who knows? Possibilities are endless. But um, it'll roughly be around this time that I'll be uploading videos, so uh, make sure to tune in around the 4 o'clock hour. Um, and it's going to change from day to day in accordance with my work schedule, but uh, today and tomorrow I'll be uploading uh, one or two, maybe possibly three videos, I'm not quite sure yet. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 doing some zombies there um, on some of the classic uh, Zombie Chronicles maps. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, please subscribe and uh, like and comment down below if there's any settings you want me to change, whether it's the music, whether it's my mic, whether it's um, the character's dialogue volume. Just put it down below or just say something nice to somebody because, you know, we need more nice in this world. So without further ado, let's go kill some people and some zombies. Alright, continuing with episode 4, Around Every Corner. Sauce. Your guess is as good as mine. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, 
Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Yes, sir. idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. Man, I tell you. Is, uh, he's the Georgia State dude. flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Hopscotch. Oh, I remember those rugs. Back in the day. No power, no TV. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Creepy. Yeah, we're definitely not giving that to Clementine. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. 
I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Man, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katya and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Sneaky dude. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kinda miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Answer to that, Clem. Maybe there's somebody out there working on a way to fix this. Some kind of cure, maybe. There's just no way to know. I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Alright, guys. I think we've seen all about all we really need to see here. What's on the wall there? Yeah. Alright. Off we go. Let's get a battery and get the heck out of here. This place gives me the creeps, especially with this music. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Oh, so we had a white supremacist. Alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? What is going on with this head? <laughs> that was odd. Already been fired. They're worthless. Some kind of supreme leader. Can't open it without the combination. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. This place definitely has some major damage.
Bobby, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Auto shop must be down this way. be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Get too close. What did Sam have? Leave him. He's mine. Nice to see you. You got it. One more. Ugh. For luck. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Look at that oh yeah, jet. that'll work. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Good idea. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Blinking. Must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. Well, I can see where the battery should be. But it's not. Perfect. It's 
Something you need? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I can't reach it up there. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. It's off. The negative terminal still screwed on. 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 Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Never stop complaining. Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Molly! 
You there? This place definitely has some major damage. Can't reach it. It's too high up. Can't open it without the combination. Bad. I don't know the combination to any of these. each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Alright guys, we're gonna uh, wait here just for a couple seconds, just waiting for my internet to connect back and make sure that my stream is coming through nicely. Alright, that should do it. Shit. <laughs> And Vernon must be trapped in there. wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. 
We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Uh, already cleaned out. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? It's a medical file for a woman named Correa. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I could see old evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him.
Just a bunch of paste. Have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Alright guys, so those symbols that we were seeing written all over Savannah, this is an explanation of what it is. So it looks like for the TMR, it's the initials of the person conducting a search, um, the number of days since the zombie apocalypse began, uh, how many uh, walkers were found, um, the number of citizens brought to Crawford for two, and then the number of ineligible citizens found. So that's meaning like women, children, sick, the elderly, stuff like that, that don't, are not in the Crawford. So that's kind of neat that we know what to, uh, what to do now. And now there's a lot of zombies. So I remember seeing those numbers and they were, they were pretty high. So great. <laughs> See how the guys are doing, I think. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. Say hi to Clementine. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. Go search the dead walker.
This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Oh, we found the locker combination. Shit, time to go. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Uh-huh. We figure out 
Molly's dark truth. Well, shit. Fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Sorry, I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door ben, handle at the end of the hallway ass. back there. Oh no. Ah, shit! <laughs> It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. Nice commentary. Oh, we taught her well. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. 
It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. But when it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. We gotta focus on getting out of here. You little piss ant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got to both fucking killed! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? No. So what's your call, Lee? Does Ben go with us? I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. And that means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? <laughs> Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! Well, I guess that's what you get for trying to have a say in things. But dang, man. Rest in peace. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on! There's gotta be a way out down here! Fuck! Oh. Ah! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee! Look!
all right, Cliff. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Come on, let's go! Executioner, he is. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Uh, hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. <laughs> you okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost... What the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? 
You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. somewhere yeah I'm about to head out I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything it's been fun what are you talking about Kenny's working on the boat right now thought you were coming with us God knows you earned it yeah I've been thinking it over it's not for me sounds like it'd be pretty crowded and I never did like the water you sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? We can't, Clem. I'm sorry. But they're in Crawford somewhere. They have to be. Clementina, I know you don't want to give up on them. But Crawford's just like every other place now. If your parents are there, they won't be like you remember them. They won't remember you at all. Sometimes the best kind of love is the hardest kind. Where's the water <sighs> talking? Clementine? Oh, there it is. Clementine? Clementine? 
Clementine! Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee! Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? I don't know what to do here. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. Lee, we're a team. That's how we've made it this far. We're not going to just abandon you. Even now? Especially now. You've earned that much. Damn straight. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me, asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kitty, man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Because you're on your own on this one. What about you, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. I'll prove it to you. You'll see. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me. Even Ben. Yeah, we'll figure out that when the time comes. <laughs>